This is how I set my Linux CNC lathe tool offsets using a Fowler electronic edge finder. My number one tool is the reference tool that's set to zero in G54 and that is a facing and turning tool uh, but it has a slant on it on the front so we can't just set the tool height up against a flat surface we have to just set the tip We'll set the G54Z axis first and then the tool height and then the X. The Z axis can go against the flat surface at the end of the edge finder. We start Linux CNC and we home the system. I have an arbitrary homing position where my lathe toolpost happens to be when I'm going to be changing tools. Then we select our reference tool, tool number one. Mount the tool in the tool post and bring it in towards the flat end of the edge finder. Doing this by hand to start and then jogging in using the MPG. We bring it in slowly at the slowest speed towards the flat end of the edge finder until we get a light and then we back off one click and done. Now we set our Z axis in G54 to 0. That's our 0 point for G54. Uh, now we back off the tool a little bit, uh, lower it down manually until it's below the edge finder and then bring it into about 5,000 in from the end and then we bring it up with the screw uh, gently until we get a light and then again we back off a tiny smidge. Now using the dial indicator we bring it up 100 thou which is half the diameter of the edge finder and this will put it on center of the edge finder and lock the locking screw. Now we back the tool out uh, so that it's clear on the uh, x-axis, uh, bring it in a little bit on the z, and then we bring it in slowly on the x until we get a light. And there we go, back off a little bit. And then we go over to our uh, G54 settings again. We set diameter 0.2, which is the diameter of the tool. So assuming you're in diameter mode. Uh, now we're going to select tool number two, which is our cutoff tool, which needs setting. Uh, you would do this for any tool. We're going to again do the, do the Z axis. In the case of the cutoff tool, we're not going to set the end to zero. We're going to set it to two millimeters. So we're going to set it because we want the other side of the tool to be the reference edge. Uh, so we will be setting it to G21 metric mode. Uh, here, setting it to G21. Uh, we could do math, and convert it to inches, but you know, lazy. And uh, then we'll go in and we set the touch off Z to two. And then we do need to remember to set it back to G20 afterwards. Uh, now we do the same as we did before. Uh, we did previously set the height on this tool uh, using the same method as before. We bring it in, we get the uh, flicker, and then we bring it out slightly. Usually I'll double check this, I'll cut the video slightly. Uh, and uh, then we will again set the uh, X to 0.2 this time using the touch off buttons. So you use the touch off buttons for everything except your reference tool and you use the G54 uh, offset buttons for your reference tool. You can see here that the offsets are way off and that's because we are not actually applying the tool offsets. We need to set G43 to see the tool offsets and now we can see we're at our diameter 0.2 and our Z of a little bit less than zero. Uh, we do want to set back to G49 for doing tool setting. 
For boring bars, we do the similar process, except we bring the insert up against the back of the tool and we set our X uh, tool offset to uh, minus 0 0.2 uh, once we find the edge. For threading inserts, we want the tip of the tool to be at the corner of the threading insert when it's at 0.2 diameter and Z0. Uh, so what we do is we run the edge of the threading insert, the flat edge, up against the flat surface at the end of the edge finder to set that to whatever the offset of the tip is when you look it up. Uh, these are AG inserts and this in this case is 1.7 millimeters and in the case of the A inserts it will be 0.6 millimeters. Other than that the process is the same. So I hope this has been helpful. If you've liked this uh, video, found it useful, please uh, give me a like and uh, let me know if you want to see any other stuff about my system.